Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're going to continue on with our Jiang Bao campaign. So, where were we? That's right, we were going to go take uh, Liu Bei, which should be a lot of fun. Also, our allies, they seem to be doing alright. You know, they are expanding. Um, you can see here, uh, Zhang uh, Zhue, he's actually... He's moving this way. Uh, is he at war with these guys? I'd like to know that. Why must we speak? Let's see, who are you at war with? Uh... Where does it say? Oh yes, down here. Here it is. Yes, he is with Zhang Shui. So that's fine. So yeah, hopefully he will continue to push up this way and uh, take this whole corner so I don't have to worry about it. It will be nice only having to defend from a couple directions, for sure. Uh, although, is that... Yeah, that is the same faction, huh? Yeah, you're going to need to take that livestock farm soon, mate. Hmm. Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll let him deal with that for now. Uh, for now, we have... Yeah, we've got a pretty big threat to deal with. Uh, also, one thing I do want to do, we do have assignments. This is something I historically always forget to do, because there's no reminder for it, and it doesn't exist in other Total Wars. And, um, yeah, I always forget. It's that simple. So here we're going to do the Stimulate Markets with uh, Han Jong here, because, uh, well, 75% income from commerce is rather nice, and there is commerce buildings here. So let's go ahead and do that. So, yep. Cool. So that should help us a bit. It's nothing major, but uh, as you can see, there is some commerce. There is some commerce to be had, and that'll do. Uh, also, one thing I realised in the last episode, I, was, I kind of breezed over a bit, is the fervour. I said, oh, it's great, but I didn't explain what it is at all. It's basically the same as uh, faction support for uh, other, um, you know, the other three kingdoms. Uh, characters, you know, the other the other playable races, essentially. So, yeah, it's the same kind of thing. So, basically, if fervor is low, then people are going to be a bit annoyed with you. But, um, you know, and they're going to rebel, or you've got to babysit them, essentially. But, fervor goes up really quickly for yellow turbans. So, it basically means that you don't have to babysit all of your territory as you're conquering it. You can keep moving. You don't have to keep an army to babysit a place to watch this number go up. It'll pretty much go up to 100 next turn. It is really swift, which means that public order will stay nice and high, which means you don't have to babysit. You don't have to, you know, install a bunch of governors and things to keep the peace. Um, because, no, you're fighting for the people, and the people clearly, clearly recognize that. And, of course, that is affected by this as well. It will put up further as well. So this all helps. So um, getting your zeal up will help further, and just generally further goes up very quickly um, anyway, because of, you know, your character and all the rest of it. So, cool. Very fun. So it does let you advance nice and quickly. So let's carry on, shall we? So yeah, salt mine should get us uh, some extra money from industry. Which is another good reason, actually, because we do have the industry um, income bonus. It would be good to get over here and take the iron mine over here and the tool makers. Uh, there is a tool makers over here, isn't there? Pretty sure it's... Is it there? I think it might be there. I forget. But anyway, um, so. Uh, more wars going on, huh? Uh, oh, against the Han Empire. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm surprised they weren't at war with them anyway, but... Hey, it is what it is. Um, and yeah, speaking of, are you going to get that done? Oh. Yeah. Ooh, destroyers of treachery. Ooh, scary. Um, so yeah, more new units. More new units. More cavalry. Also, there's defenders of the Empire, which is cool. I immediately think of the Empire from Warhammer, which is why I put on that voice. The Empire! But no. <laughs> so yeah, he's going to have to defeat this guy if he wants to progress. I hope he can handle it. I mean, he's got some good units too. But he seems a little worn out. Impossible. I'm a little bit worried down here. Um, I mean, these are definitely better fighters. The characters should Not win. Possible. And I, I think these infantry are better. So hopefully we'll be okay. But if our ally gets taken out this early by an enemy army, I'm, yeah, I'm going to be very disappointed. Anyway, over here, what can we get? Hmm. Yeah... Artisans, maybe. Or should I just go full in with industry over here? I think I'll just get manufacturing um, over here. This is mostly food, though, isn't it? Let's be honest. Um, yeah, I'll go with a bit of industry here as well. Go with a bit of industry. Just a bit of extra cash to keep us going. Because as you can see, we're kind of broke. And uh, we were going to train some more units, but I think we just need to get stuck in over here now. Because we're not at war with them yet. We're not at war with them yet. But we soon will be. I do need to get rid of him nice and early. What's that garrison looking like? Pretty weak. Pretty weak. So if we actually got the jump on him, I think we'd be in good stead. So maybe... Ugh, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure if I want to take the salt mine so I have, you know, a bit of a base uh, in order to continue launching an attack. Or 
if I want to just get hold of him nice and quickly. What I could do is move over here and ambush. And he might fall for the ambush. You never know. But what he might end up doing is just running towards Bohai and taking that instead, which I can't really afford to lose. Um, although, not a bad garrison, but no. it's not this, is it? Let's be honest. Um, ooh, a lot of cav, and if I have a look at the garrison here, no spears, so yeah, that's a bit scary. Hmm. For the people. Yeah, not sure. Oh well, well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, guys. Might take some losses, but as long as we can keep moving, hopefully we can just take territory quicker than he can, in which case we'll win anyway, you know, it's fine. We just need to keep the pace up. Okay, so... Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, more wars going on. Really, really, you want help against uh, uh, Liu Liu Yu? Really? I mean, what's he gonna do? Like Gong Gong Du's right down here. He's busy. <laughs> Never mind then. Fine. You do you, guys. You do you. Yellow Turban Rebellion. Ah, this is the big thing I was waiting for. So, it has begun. Across the lands, your banners rise, each person seeking a brighter future, free from corruption. The Emperor, roused, uh, roused, has dispatched all his armies against you. The people shall not be silenced. The Azure Sky is at an end. The Mandate War begins. And here we go. The Mandate War has begun. So, rallied by the Brothers Zhang, uh, the Yellow Turbans claim the Mandate of Heaven. Strike hard at the heart of the canker afflicting the kingdom. Decimate those who would harm the people. The Mate, I'm... Dude, I'm... I'm chatting. Just shush. Don't... Just... No. Anyway, um, who would harm the people and bring forth a new age of peace. So, here is the objective of the campaign, essentially. Control 50 settlements, either by direct ownership or through military allies, including the following Luawiyang. So, we have to take the capital. And that'll give us campaign victory. So there we go. It's finally given us that. And, um... Oh, Huang Shao is, is back. He's, uh... He exists. There he is. There he is. Which is very nice. And, uh... So is He Yi. He Yi's in here. There he is. It's He Yi. Ah, oh, I love He Yi. I miss that guy. Anyway, uh... As you can see, there's also yellow turbans all over the shop now. If I zoom out, there's some all over the place. So obviously there's Gong De down there, but there's also a bunch of armies along here, another army sprouted over here, and there's even one way over here as well. So the Yellow Turban Rebellion has begun. So these armies are pretty much just going to slow down uh, the advance of some of the Han and, uh, I don't know, allies of the Han, I suppose. They're just going to slow them down a bit. Um, a lot of these aren't going to last. Some may actually get a foothold, though, which is kind of cool. And that will actually contribute to the Mandate War that we have going on. So, yep, also Yellow Turban Rebellion is part of the Alliance. And here's the war. So, as you can see, uh, it's quite busy, isn't it? It's quite busy. It's a lot of people at war, all of a sudden. Yep, yep, so that's fun. We're at war with everybody. We're at war with this guy. Who? Are, oh, okay, they're just sort of running up and down. Being silly. Do you want to just, do you want to just kill him, maybe? You reckon you could do that? I cannot. I mean, yeah, you can't. I cannot. Hmm. I wonder, can he defeat that army? I mean, if he can, then that faction's basically done. You know? But, oh, more armies are coming. I don't think that rebellion's going to last very long, do you? I don't. Uh, Huang Shao should be able to take Dong. Should be able to take that. Liu Bei is now at war with us. So we do need to defeat Liu Bei. His uh, two brothers... Will probably be nearby. They'll probably be nearby. Mm. And yeah, we can't reach there in a turn. He can reach here in a turn, though. Oh, I think we're just going to take the salt mine. I think I've taken the salt mine. He may attack. We can defend it. It'll be fine. Probably. Maybe. I'm going to delegate. I don't think we need to waste any time fighting this one. Decisive victory. We'll probably lose very few. Only 80. Yeah. Yeah, that was fine. Okay, got some zeal. Let's occupy this. So yeah, in the last episode, uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys thought, well, things things seem a bit easy. Just wandering through the land. No problems here. Uh, yeah, then the Mandate War begins. And um, things get a bit crazy. I mean, look, I'm at war with everybody. Just all around. Everything I can see, I'm at war with. So, <laughs> yeah, it gets, it gets a little crazy. Pretty quickly. Um, that's nice, though. The yellow turbans. Probably be able to take uh, Yobai Ping. 
um, the trade port, and no. you should be able to take this out. So please do. I'm going to give him orders because I want him to move quickly. Um, so if I can convince him to move a little bit faster, maybe we can wrap this up nice and fast and he can come join me because there will be pressure on this flank. Not too, too bad at first. They're quite passive factions, these ones. But Dong Zhuo will head in from that way and we'll need to deal with him. Uh, hopefully this guy will get attacked, though. I, I think Impossible. the other yellow turbans get their turn first. No. So hopefully he can get taken out. It's Not It's going to be tough, though, I think. I think it's going to be quite close between these two armies. But uh, if Zhang Liang can win that, then yeah, that's great. That'll be uh, Hanai he'll be able to take. And I might turn to take the farmland first, actually. That should be really easy to take. And then he can take the capital of Hanai as well. Hopefully. But yeah, yeah, uh, Liu Chong is on his way, which is a problem. So yeah, plenty, plenty of problems. And that's why things do get quite exciting in this campaign. So... Let's level something up. Get Flaming Shot. We don't have artillery yet, so there's not much point. Ah, Night Battles. That's what I want. I want that real quick. It's just too useful. Um, and then you... Extra Replenishment is very nice for your army. Uh, is that for the army? Yeah, it's for the whole army, which is great. So I'm going to do that. I want the Replenishment bonuses. Excellent. Also, we do have someone else. Another two Resolve. Do you want to do that? Maybe. I'll give it to this guy. See if I get him legendary. There we go. It'll be legendary next turn. Lovely. Good stuff. Uh, and yeah, this is going to be tough, but we can do it. We should be able to take out uh, Liu Bei, I reckon. It's just if um, uh, Zhang Fei or Gwen Yu are nearby, then I'll have to watch out for sure. I really want to take him on one at a time. That's why I got the night battles. I just have to hope he doesn't attack me first uh, with reinforcements. If I can launch the attack on him, I can take out him and then the you know his brothers. Uh, fighting all at once. I'm really scared of that happening. But you never know. Might be alright. Oh, and it looks like he gets his attack first. And he may be ambushing. Ooh. And yep, Yellow Turban's got dealt with. Okay, yeah, our allies are in a bit trouble down here. Certainly looks like it. I think Zhang Liang is going to have a bit of trouble. Except this guy's moving out, so... Huang Chao should be able to take this. Yeah, there we go. He's got Dong. That's really good. That's really good. That helps a lot. It should should attract a lot of attention. And uh, he should be able to hold that fairly well. So, faction developments. Provincial coordinators. Organized rebellion against a centralized government requires sandals on the ground. Encouraging and debriefing recruits. Alright then. So, that's another tech done. Which means we can get to this one. The replenishment one. Definitely want that. Cool. And yeah, that guy being in ambush stance and closer to my farmland, he may go and attack my farmland, which would be a bother. It would definitely be a bother. We must Tell you what, China let's deal with uh, let's deal with Liu Bei first. And yeah, there's Zhang Fei, and there's Guan Yu. But night battle should be a close victory, and yeah, I'm not sure the other two are going to be totally keen. Um, to fight me if I can I can win this decisively. If I can win this decisively, then I'm... Yeah, I'm laughing, basically. There'll be no problems. Uh, what I don't like, though, is that I've got mostly peasant volunteers here, which, obviously, aren't the best thing in the world. He's not going to accept the surrender. I kind of doubt it he would, but... Oh, God, I don't want to fight these guys. This is definitely, like, a, an early boss battle for us. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Let's do it. Alright, so, it's at night, because it's a night battle. Seems obvious, now that you think about it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to charge in straight through here then, I suppose. There's some towers, but we've already proven we can set fire to them quite easily. So, uh, not a problem. Not really a problem. Also, that's a point. I can have the vanguard and just get rid of these towers immediately, which is very nice. Um... Also, you can snipe, so you can chill out over there. I don't know why you guys are in separate little armies. Seems a bit weird to me, but hey, that's fine. You do you, guys. Um, also, these guys don't have Vanguard. I mean, they do have Vanguard. They don't have um, Flaming Arrows or Snipe. But I will still put them out, and they can start shooting at um, any of the troops there. Then, I think we're going to want these guys to go in. 
And yeah, all you lot are going to loiter in the back. Although, it might be worth sending some of the peasants in, you know. Just to soak up some fire. So let's do that. I mean, a bit mean send the peasants in, but... Also, if it gets the job done, you know, keeps the balance of power strong, then fine. Alright then. You go for that tower. You go for that tower. You go for him. You start killing archers. It's the archers that are going to start putting in the punishment, you see. Although, actually, if I can snipe, I may as well take out that trebuchet nice and quickly. Okay, so that's the towers gone. Let's go for the next lot of towers, shall we? Nice. And you lot. Still just getting damage in, uh, generally. Let's go for those uh, ye marksmen. Because it looks like, yeah, they're aiming sideways, so I don't have to worry about them too much. God, everything's fleeing because of the towers. That's wonderful. Alright. Good. Let's push these guys up. Good stuff. And yeah, things things are going well already. <laughs> things are going well already. Let's go for that trebuchet. Uh, yeah, the e marksman suffering. Let's actually go for them. Let's just have everyone go for the e marksman. And you lot, you guys run in like loonies. That's what I want to see. Except, oh, there are some archers starting to shoot, which I don't like. Oh, some archers shooting over there. Let's kill them nice and quick, shall we? They should die pretty quick. And, okay. Cav is coming in for you. Perfect. Let's lower the stats. And you guys can start pouring in. Excellent. Alright, hit with the splash damage. So, plenty of units coming in. They're running. Good. So, trebuchet. Ton of kills on that trebuchet, you know. Ton of kills. But, it seems like the trebuchets are actually helping the crews survive. I do wonder, if I do fire arrows, will that destroy the trebuchet? Hmm. Will that destroy the actual artillery pieces? I'm not sure. Yeah, I really can't tell if they suffer that damage. But, it does look like they're wavering. Oh! Oh, the pieces are getting destroyed. Okay, that's great then. Okay, that's all good. I go for the E marksman. These guys are pushing in brilliantly. And Liu Bei is nowhere to be seen. He's just he's just watching. The coward. Alright, you guys continue doing that. They're starting to shoot now. And oh wow, their barricades are on fire. That's pretty good. Uh so yeah, this is a bit of a mess, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, you guys. Whoops. No, nope, they're running. Alright, go kill Liu Bei. Go kill him. Go kill Liu Bei. Perfect. And let's, uh... Where is he? This guy. Can I mobilize him? I guess not. Oh, there we go. Nope, missed it. Go on. There we go. There we go. Alright, mess him up, lads. Mess him up. Awesome. Okay, good. Come on, guys. You can get him. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Can you? I hope you can. Okay, you go from two. You guys, try and help kill Liu Bei. Uh, you lot have been doing wonderfully for me. Thank you so much. These guys still just watching, which is great news, honestly. My word. Still going, huh? Still going. Don't like that much. Alright, well, it seems most of the archers are dead. Uh, there's still some lance militia. Um, but those lancers aren't going to be able to get through all my spears, so again, we're fine. Just need to kill Liu Bei. He's doing a lot of damage. He's doing a lot of damage. Let's get rid of that melee evasion. Yeah, I did, did assume as much. But plenty of fire arrows coming in. It's definitely making him nervous. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is still going. I forgot about that. And everyone else is out of ammo. Thank God we had some fire arrows left. Uh, there we go. Next one. And Liu Bei is starting to run. Let's make sure he can't escape. I want him dead. I want him dead. That should be going in a second. Good. And it looks like everyone else is fleeing. 
which I like to see. Okay, let's have them wait for them to start charging in. Although it does look like uh, it does look like everything's starting to break. It really is still getting away. Wow. No give, no give with that guy. Ah, there we go. Okay, things are starting to go pretty well. I guess just start heading for the middle. Everyone else is running away, apart from the strategist. I can't imagine it's going to last much longer. And Liu Bei still going. He's still going. Rather impressive, I must say. Oh, he's on foot as well. Ah, there we go. There we go. But yeah, Liu Bei did a lot of work to us. Did a lot of damage. So you're going to have to be very careful for fighting uh, Zhang Fei or anyone. Oh, she's livid. She was not happy that Liu Bei died. Not happy at all. But that's fine. And yep, still got basically an entire army. I guess you guys can start wandering in, huh? Cool. And I guess you guys too. Yeah, I'll leave you there. I'll save. I'll save the ammo. Uh, so yeah, she's about to break. There we go. Awesome. So there we have it. There we have it. Once again, set fire to much of the town we conquered, but um, we do what we have to, guys. We do what we have to. Also, I just realised something. I didn't. I didn't actually show you any of the deployables because they're just deployables aren't very useful on the attack. So I didn't bother because I was in the habit of not bothering with that. But whoops. I guess next next battle. <laughs> <laughs> Next battle, we'll do that. Excellent. And Justice notice, we we took him out just as uh, <laughs> Jean Fay was looking the other way. <laughs> that was great. All right, that's good. Please tell me we captured this guy. Please. Okay, stop. Yes, we got him. We got him. We're gonna get his toys. Brilliant. Okay, guys, we nailed it. Um, so the beautiful thing is, right, fighting such powerful characters so early, um, all these very, very powerful, you know, legendary characters, uh, well, they've got really nice toys. And if we can kill them, then we get really nice toys. So I'm sorry. Sorry, Liu Bei. I know that, you know, Liu Bei, he's, he's a weird one. He believes in the Han, but not the current Han. Um, he doesn't like the corruption but he does believe in the Han Dynasty, right? That's kind of his thing. Um, he thinks it can be fixed rather than, you know, destroyed. That's uh, that's his thing. And he's very honorable, loves the people. He's a good dude. You know, he'd make a great yellow turban. Um, but he's never going to. It is the people's will. <laughs> it is the people's will. It's not really. I'm sure everyone loved him, but... Uh, loved. Not loves, loved. He's dead. He's dead now. And uh, we're going to occupy this. We will bring righteousness to this settlement. Excellent. Gwen Yur is now the faction leader. We're going to try and take his toys as well. Excellent. Uh, great news. That is great news. Shame we can't attack him just yet. But soon. Soon. Hopefully they'll attack us. I just doubt they will. But I definitely want to kill him because I want their toys. <laughs> like really badly. Really badly. And of course we are going to upgrade the salt mine. Because, yeah, just the minor settlements. Um... They're pretty great, sort of early, just to level up. Puts up your income quite quickly, and they have good garrisons. They make really good sort of outposts, so I like them. Anyway, so that was wild. Got some ancillaries, uh, including some very, very nice swords. Who can equip those? Anybody? Can any of you? None of you can equip those, can you? Nope. That's very disappointing. That's very disappointing. Yeah, I'm a bit saddened by that, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but hey, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, we'll be able to give it to somebody at some point. We'll be able to give them to somebody. Probably. Alright, let's have a look at our ping. Uh, raise army. Not very good characters hanging about right now. Uh, very upset with us too. Lack of purpose. I feel like we do need to get somebody out here. Um, out in this farmland, just with that other army that's coming in. We may lose them immediately is the problem. But, hey, if we do that for someone who's just a bit livid, then I guess that's fine, right? You know, nothing nothing lost, really. Uh, so, should I just go for the, with a load of peasants? And it's all we can really afford. Uh, if I look at the farmland itself, I do have some archers there. In fact, three units of archers and some cav. 
Um, and some G defectors. So actually, that's a pretty cool garrison. I like that garrison. I think we can just fill up the rest with peasants. I say fill up the rest. Fill up a bit of it with some more peasants. Ugh. But hey, it's fine. It's fine. Also, uh, spears. It's only, it's only a spear. Are we doing better horses? Hang on a minute. Can we give you a better horse? We can. Let's give you a better horse. Um, chance of evading capture. Yeah, that's that's important. And extra charge bonus is nice. Cool. Alright. So hopefully this guy will hold off against the army that's loitering in here somewhere. Um, I really hope that Zhang Liang can help out there. Because that army needs to go before further armies start turning up. That's a real problem. I mean, look at this. These Chan peacekeepers. Look at the stats. Look at this. They're really good. And they're horse archers, which is crazy. They seem to be hybrid cav, but uh, scary. Scary. Definitely want to deal with them. Mm. I mean, sure, we'll deal with these guys and we'll be able to go off and do some other things. I might actually invade this spot. I might attack all of this, because it will be ripe for plunder. Hmm. There's a few places I want to go. Hmm. I guess we just need to see where these guys go and I'll follow them about. It'll work out. So, we've got plenty of ancillaries. Uh, killed people in battle, as we do. War coordination's cancelled. Which, um, I guess means... No, it wasn't him. Oh, of course. It was... It was Zhang Liang, because the people I told him to attack had disappeared. He went to ambush stance, he lost sight of them. I think that's what happened. That's very annoying that that's the case, actually. That's very annoying he doesn't remember the orders. Because like, there they are again. And, oh, doing nothing. He's doing nothing. Ah, okay. They got him. They got him. That's great news. Okay, he took out that army, but he is super injured. So I have to hope that he can get back to full strength before this other army turns up. But, both these guys are headed this way, so I could continue to follow this way. And maybe, uh, uh, Liu Chong will be our next victim. Hmm. A lot going on. Alright, Emperor of, uh, Liu Hong declared war on Bai Gong Bouyu. Why? Why? Who are you? I don't know who that is, but apparently they don't like him. Uh, the Liang Rebellion. That's, uh, is that us? Concerning news arrives from the Western Territories of the Empire. Some groups of auxiliaries sensing an opportunity have rebelled against the Hun and become, begun terrorizing nearby countries. Oh? Hmm. I guess that's that guy that just had war declared on them by the Empire. I'm assuming that's them, maybe? Maybe? Not really sure. Uh, right, so, we need to deal with these little sods. How do I get them? Hmm. Oh. Let's upgrade that too. Bit of extra cash. Uh, what I could try and do is ambush them. Could try that. I doubt it'll work, but... I mean, it's worth trying, isn't it? And, oh yes, and he's in better stead now, isn't he? Let's see, can I give you something to put satisfaction up? I can. Um, don't really need to give him any of that. Okay. So at some point, I will give this guy a proper army. Because what I can do, of course, because it's Yellow Turban um, campaign, is I've got access to captains. So I can get a few captains here when I've got the money. I do need quite a bit of money. I'm really broke right now. Um, I'm definitely pretty broke. I do need to expand things. Uh, nice and quickly. But Mandate War's going pretty well, you know? Not this guy's doing well, Zhang Zhue. He's, uh, it looks like he's on the home stretch. He can just nip from one to the next and take over this whole area. Um, nothing is attacking from this side yet. So really it's just dealing with Liu Chong when he arrives. And making sure that these two don't get up to no good. If they combined forces, they could actually do some work, even with very basic units. They're very strong characters. So I'm still going to have to be careful. Anyway, uh, next turn, I guess. And Liu Chong is heading in. And so, yeah. Okay, Zhang Liang is heading back to make sure he can defend the city, which I think is fair enough. And he's still fleeing. Oh, trade agreement. I'd forgotten. I haven't actually set up trade agreements with all these guys yet. So yeah, I'll definitely do that with you. That's that's beautiful. I'll receive a payment. So let's do that. Our feelings about you proved true. I'm glad. I'm glad. 
Uh, I'll try and get a trade agreement up here too. Because I, I think we have a couple of... Nope, we don't. We don't have a free trade route. Uh, that'll be the next tech we do, I believe. Which one's tech? It's up here, isn't it? My bad. Sorry, guys. Still not used to 3k after all the... Uh, after all the Total War Warhammer lark. Uh, I think there's trade near the bottom of one of the trees. Um, hmm. Not seeing it. Not seeing it. Is it this one? That's extra local leader. Decision. Starting rank for all units. Yeah, I'm not seeing the extra trade. Extra trade influence, that's something. Huh. Yeah, I'm not seeing it anywhere. We'll find it. We'll find it at some point, guys. We'll we'll get one. We'll figure this out. Oh well. It's all good. Um yeah, we're fine. We're making a bit more money now. So I'm I'm happy enough. So over here. Uh if I attack one of these guys, I think there's reinforcements from Hanai. So I'm not sure they're going to want to fight me. But what is nice is this farmland, these guys will help if uh, Liu Chong decides to attack me. So it is probably worth pushing the advantage over here. So do I want to get Zhang Fei or do I want to get Guan Yu? Which one do I want to get? Hmm. Which one? I think Zhang Fei. I'll try and get Zhang Fei. Come here, lad. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And when you Really? You're actually up for fighting? That's very strange. So, fine. We'll do a night battle. Because it'll lower their morale some more. And I don't think we even need to fight this. Which is a pity. It's Gwen Yur, but whatever. Yeah, good. And he'll probably retreat. From the roots to heaven. And, oh... Oh, he lost a jewel. Oh. Doesn't seem like him. But okay. Uh, let's go to the replenishment. We're going to need that. And now he's scampering away. And... Oh, I can't get any closer to him. So yeah, he has survived for now. He has survived for now. And I guess I have no choice. But to move in range of the farmland. Now, if our enemy is very clever, he'll have uh, Jean Fei besiege the farmland and Louis Chong... Uh, can attack me. So, I doubt that'll happen. But people, you never know. You never way. know. Uh, but still, we got we got one hit in. So hopefully, next time we attack him, that'll be that'll be it for him. Hopefully. Hmm. I got him loitering. Uh, so we've got a bit of extra cash now. I'm going to keep saving that money up until we can afford a captain for this guy. I think. Because, yeah, I think getting... Uh, I don't know, maybe the archer... Captain. Probably better off getting the Spearman Captain, actually. Although, really, that's the Spearman Captain. The Spearman Captain has two peasant volunteers. Really? Could they even count as Spearman? I mean, really? That seems very unusual. Does not seem like a Spearman Captain to me. I guess the actual Captain unit is a Spearman. He's a yellow term and Spearman Captain, so, you know, it's medium spear infantry. So I guess he is a Spearman, but he's not commanding many, is he? It's a bit pathetic, really. Oh well. Still, probably get this guy anyway, because it's some archers and some other units, and he's quite cheap. So, maybe that'll be the one I get. Hmm. Oh, I don't like this. Alright, next turn. Nothing else I can do. Oh, yep, he's attacking me. And the other guys are joining in. But I mean, so's the garrison over here. This garrison's helping. And uh, we're fighting all the characters. Luckily, Gwenya is super injured. But. He's going to be a problem, he's going to be a problem, and he's going to be a problem. And we're all a little bit injured as well from that last uh, that last battle. So, could be tough. Could be tough. Ah, some spear guards too, which I don't like the look of. Alright, let's give it a go. Uh, so we do have reinforcements coming from over this way, which is actually pretty good. It's a good spot for him. So we'll line these guys up. Mostly peasants on this side, which is fine. And, uh, yeah, you lot. Let's spread you out a little more. Um, yeah, that's all fine. There's not a lot to do there, but 
This is what I wanted to show you guys. So here you can see this is our army. And there's another tab in deployment where you can actually put up um, different different deployables. As you can see, you get a little tower. Isn't that cool? A little arrow tower. It actually shoots. It actually shoots arrows. Which is really cool. I really like them. I think it's a really nice touch. It's pretty cool. Also, we get some stakes. So uh, what I'm going to do, pull these guys back a bit. So I can set up stakes here. So there we are. So you can do them thin or thick, because basically they'll they'll block more if they're um, sort of more dense. Because as soon as they sort of trip up one unit of cavalry or something, then they get destroyed. So if you do a thin line, then it'll block sort of more units, but only the front ranks of more units. Whereas if you do like a dense one, then yeah, you could wipe out most of a unit by doing that. So, you know, they're only temporary, but they can get you some extra kills and just stop things from being able to charge in. Uh, anywhere you want. Also, we have oil, which, annoyingly, you can't place um, out in the open, which I think is a bit annoying, honestly, but it's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at that. A big old oil slick that you can set fire to, which is kind of cool. So, I guess I'll just put that over here, I guess. Just because I can. You never know. could set fire to it with these guys, which I might. Who knows? Anyway, let's crack on. Okay, enemy reinforcements are coming. They do have a trebuchet though, so I think we may actually just have to charge them anyway, which is really quite annoying, actually. Really rather annoying. Hmm. Could send these guys to go deal with them, but... Oh, let's just get stuck in. We're going to have to, guys. We're going to have to, because we need to back these guys up. We need to back them up if we're going to destroy this lot. And wow, I really wish we had our own trebuchets because these guys are having a weird time. What are you lot doing? You know what? I don't mind. I don't mind. You know, whatever it is they want to do, that's fine. Whatever it is they want to do. <laughs> silly, silly people. Alright, let's get them in formation. Excellent. Ugh. Kind of dreading this, guys. Because this could go very wrong. This could go very wrong. You know. Might be alright. I mean, a lot of the reinforcements haven't arrived yet. But we do need to take these guys out in a hurry. Hopefully these guys will come and join us nice and quickly. They do have cavalry. We should be able to harass the back line very nicely. So hopefully we'll deal with a ton of archers. Nice and quickly. But, yeah. Not a fan. Not a fan of, uh, of their heroes I'm going to have to fight. Don't like that one bit. Okay, can you guys deal with the trebuchet nice and quickly then, I wonder. Uh, let's actually do flaming arrows for the morale hit. Yeah, these guys are pushing up. So we've got the medium glaive infantry there. Along with the G defectors. And we've got the spearmen gangs. So I mean, we've got plenty of spearmen to help deal with the cavalry. And it looks like these guys might be drawing some people in. Can't entirely tell though. Alright, the poachers and archer gang. We have to shoot at some of the archer militia. Actually, the Alkawai hunters, I'm going to have to shoot at the Chen Royal Guard. I kind of want to poison them. I feel like these guys will do a lot of damage. Well, they have the potential to do a lot of damage. These guys, too, actually. The Chen peacekeepers. Those heavy cav. How's your armor piercing? Is that any good? Zero, huh? So, no. No. It's actually pretty terrible. Pretty Your terrible damage, actually, their range damage. So it's pathetic, in fact. They can shoot a lot, though, and they have the poison. But they can't do much damage. So, it is what it is, I suppose. Alright. Forget it with the fire. Just shoot things. Okay, this is looking good. And, oh, he's shooting at us. Oh, you jerk. Yeah, he's been shooting at us for a while. I didn't even realise. Rubbish. Okay. Them going for him. That's all fine. Everyone's getting stuck in. So, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, you go for them. Uh, that's fine. We're all pushing in this way. Okay, that's good news. Plenty of arch fire coming in. Okay. It's all fine. It's all fine. Really? Still just... Alright. 
Ooh, this is bad. Yeah, this isn't looking great. Alright, let's load some stats. Alright, let's pull, pull back. I don't fight those spear guards. It's fine. Alright, there's Gwen Yu looking very damaged. He's fine though. Which I don't like much at all. But yeah, they're... Yeah, they're really struggling. Their back line is looking terrible. Uh, so is ours a little bit, though. So is ours. Alright, you charging over there. That seems to be going fine. They're completely sandwiched. They still have a hero, though. Oh, really? Oh, food. Oh, he survived. Um, they're dealing with him. That's looking good. Okay, you charge around that way. Uh, some of you can charge those G. And we got our archers back. So we start shooting over there. Enemy spear guards are really struggling against the peasant volunteers by the looks of it. I mean, that's excellent. Awesome. Alright, charge back of them, please. Alright, they're still being a problem. That's shame. Looks like they're going for our... Ugh, yeah, that's bad. So like they're struggling, though. Uh, let's mobilize. Okay, come on. Come on, guys. I need, I need you to kill him. If, if you'd be so kind. Okay, get some good damage in over here. Uh, they're out of ammo, which is a pity. Don't like that much. All right, that's going fine. That's going fine. So with the cavalry. We are dealing with those ranged units. This is a problem, though. Han Fu is doing quite well. I also fight Zhang Bao. No, I'm too injured. So I'm not going to do that. Oh, come on, lads. All right, immobilize him, yeah? Come on, you got to get him. Oh, and hit with splash damage. Hopefully, this will actually hit him. Did it? I mean, a little bit. Okay, excellent. Okay, now kill her. I bet she's rubbish. Okay, that's great. You guys move up. Uh, yeah, the other armies are headed here, but it looks like they're on the last legs. So, that's good news. Okay, you guys get a flank on them. And how are things going over here? Wow, yeah, she's getting wrecked. That's excellent. Okay, let's get rid of these Chen Peacekeepers. It looks like she's dead. Okay, good. Our hero survived. Okay, go deal with those spear guards. Uh, he's still going strong, though, which I don't like. Uh, still chasing them off. You go try and kill him. You save those archers. And you guys need to stop blocking each other. And you guys can stand back for now. Uh, we've got cavalry helping, but yeah, this is a problem. But hopefully, we've we'll got enough fodder left that it's not going to matter. I mean, Jean Fay will be able to do some mad damage to us. But we've got mad units to throw at him. So I think we'll be alright. Be surrounded. They got dealt with. Alright, go for those Chan Peacekeepers. Uh, over here, looks like we'll be able to catch out Han Fu. I might try and charge him down with these guys as well. It's risky. I have got a couple that are very injured. But. I think it's probably a better idea than loitering around here um, with my men. I don't like the look of fighting these these lot. These? These lot? What am I even saying? This lot. I can't speak. Ooh, oh my god, they're all about to break. Yeah, they're really unhappy. Yeah, I noticed. Definitely spineless. That's, that's a worry. Wow, look at all them. It's quite a few, quite a few men I've got over here. Oh my god, guys. Really? You're all running? Just you did not want to fight Jean Fay, huh? Wow. Yeah, I really don't want to fight him. Although, it looks like we are dealing with their G militia nice and quickly. So that's nice. That's very nice. Uh, although, ugh, guys. Waste of cavalry. Oh, this is going well, though. Can you mobilize him? Okay, he's running. Good. Alright, immobilize him so you can finish him off. That'll work. Find out. Uh, Gwen Yu. 
kind of on his own there, which is fine. It's pretty great, to be honest. Go for them. And, yeah, these guys are doing well. The uh, Redeemed Outlaws. They're having a good time. They're not, though. These guys are good. Zealots the way can head over this way. Zealots of that way in particular. Alright, come on, guys. Come on. You can do it. Alright, come on. Get him. Get him, lads. So, this is still a problem, obviously. But, we are outnumbering them. We are outnumbering our opponents. I'm all starting to run, though. Which I don't like much. Don't like that much at all. But, yeah, I think we've probably got Quen Yu. We've probably dealt with him. My guys are very tired, though. Which I don't like. Good. Good, we got another one. Is that going to upset Jean Fay? Jean Fay doesn't mind. So it's all good. He doesn't mind. Go save a militia. Don't charge into them. No. No way am I dueling Jean Fay. That's just a bad idea. Luckily, it doesn't say he's unbreakable. Thank God. If he was, um, well, that'd be bad. Alright, move our archers up, just so we've got some support. Ugh. Not looking good. Also, we're all on foot. Where did that happen? Hmm. Oh well. Very strange. Thought they'd be a bit slow. Yeah, you keep fighting Jean Fay, who is taking a bit of damage. He is taking a bit of damage. Okay, our allies are moving up. I'm so glad this farm was here. <laughs> it's so, so good that farm was here. Okay, they're breaking. Good. More units are coming. I mean, we've got this, surely. Yeah, Jean Fay is starting to start a waver. He's starting a waver. Yeah, is that the way? Doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. He too is on foot. How is everybody on foot these days? Very strange. Oh well. So deal with him. My word, we suffered some pretty heavy casualties. Suffered pretty heavily. But, we have killed some pretty, pretty big villains, you know. Okay, he's running. Excellent. Okay, he's running. Keep chasing Jean Fay. Good. Good. Keep chasing him. <laughs> Alright, very victory. Okay, so, that's Liu dealt with. Justice cannot be denied. We might have captured him, or he might have escaped, not sure. We did get two grand out of this mess, so that's pretty great. Got some zeal. Oh, we captured this guy. We wiped out his faction, but like now it's probably about time we just kill him, right? It is the people's will. Good. Uh, sure is. Also, we could ransom them, because, I mean, it's the people, right? We're not, we're not in the business of killing people. No, we want them on side. Uh, that, and we need money to to be able to be on their side. So, oh, it looks like these two fled. Hmm, I destroyed if it loses the battle. Oh, wait, so the armies are destroyed? So where did they go? Are we going to find them later? Does that mean I'm not going to get their toys? Well, that's upsetting. We're going to ransom them anyway. Okay, guys, so the outro needs to be quick here. Uh, he's wounded, fine, whatever. Can't even, not even time to read it. I've got to be quick because, guys, uh, I'm only supposed to have a 45-minute video and I'd somehow trim off, like, 10 minutes of this video because that battle lasted so long. Um, so maybe it's within the 45 minutes or maybe I need to plead with the guys at CA <laughs> so I can publish this one. Um, that's, that's early access for you. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.